On the top menu in Smart Notebook, there is an icon called Activities. This allows you to build different ac interactive activities to use with your classes. Most of these are designed to use with students directly on the smart board. However, some of them do require a device and it will say devices required right under the activity if that is required. Students would then use their Chromebooks to record their responses and their answers and those would be recorded directly within the activity for the teacher to be able to see the responses and or display them on the smart board. I, next we're going to see a demonstration on how to create one of these activities and the demonstration will be for a game show activity. However, in the later in the other section of this class, there's a folder for extras, and it does provide you with detailed videos on how to create each one of these activities. So if there's a specific activity you're interested in, you can check out that folder and see the directions specifically for creating that activity. Let's take a look at how to build a game show activity right now. Their activity called game show select activities and move to game show. Now I choose either multiple choice or true false for the type of question I want answered. We'll start with multiple choice. Here is where I'm going to enter my question and I have my choices for answers at the bottom or I could choose a picture. To add an image I select the picture icon and here I can either select an image from my computer or I can search one online. Again these are all free use so I don't have to worry about copyrights. Choose the image I want, put it right in my question. Now below that, I have all of the options to enter my answers. I'll have correct, wrong, and never. And on the left-hand side, I choose the correct answer that I want my students to know. Then I add another question. For the sake of time, let's say that this completes my activity. Now I want to come up here to the top right, and I have a save icon. Save your activity and give it a name. This will allow you to pull it up later without having to recreate everything over and over again. It's pretty easy to put things into your smart notebooks once they've already been created. I'm going to delete all content and let's just start from a pre-made activity. I choose load and select one of the activities I've already made. I'm going to choose starry night A and choose load. Now you can see all of the questions and answers that I previously made and I can randomize them or not. I'm going to select finish and that's it. I've created my game show. Now when I select start, the game show just works. I like to separate my students into teams so that they can play against each other. The question is what makes the sun appear to rise in the east and set in the west and students select the answer. <clears throat>
also has a menu item called activities. You'll find this on the top menu and when you click on it, you have the opportunity to create easily create many different interactive activities to do with your students and these are all customizable. So you'll notice that some of them say devices required because some of them are designed for you to do complete with your students on the smart board and others require the students to have their own devices because it acts more like a response system. So they would respond on their own device and their answers would get recorded in Smart Notebook and for you to display on the board.